In this video, we're going to go ahead and replace our upper grill trim molding located right on the top of your grill. With the hood open, you want to go ahead and remove our air intake port right here. You're going to use our trim tool and pop the plastic button securing the front of this. Pop this button over here. Put those two buttons aside. Now we can go ahead and lift up on our air intake tube. We want to pull it out of the rubber seal right here. Set it aside. Let's go ahead and remove these seven plastic pushpins holding our radiator cover in place. Using our trim tool, pop up the center of the buttons. Do this for the rest of them. Once we have all those out, we'll go ahead and lift up the cover here and set it aside. Let's remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding the top portion of our grill. On the inside edge of the bumper, there's going to be two Phillips head screws. We're going to use our screwdriver. Let's loosen and remove these here. Once these are out, go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Along the bottom of your bumper, you're going to have a series of these plastic push pin clips. Let's go ahead and use our trim tool and pop these out. Now our particular vehicle is already missing a series of these here. But if you do have them, pop them out and remove them. If yours are breaking like ours, you may have to source some new replacements. Our particular vehicle has a couple screws in here. Starting on either side, the driver or passenger side, you want to reach in on the edge of the lip here, and you're going to pull the bumper out and away from the fender. What you're doing is disconnecting the bumper itself from the bumper mounting clip in the back, and then go ahead and continue the way around underneath the headlight. doing this here, continue the process around into the passenger side. Now that we have both sides disconnected, let's go ahead and grab that bumper, reach around behind the grill and support this. Go ahead and pull it away. Using our Phillips head screwdriver, we want to go ahead and remove the five screws across the top. Run right through the mounting bracket here. And grab that molding, just work that off. Go ahead and line up your molding. Go ahead and slide that back into position. Let's go ahead and install our screws. And try and insert the screw into place. I'm going to go ahead and get all of these screws started right across the back, and then we'll come back and snug them down. All right, let's come on back, and we'll snug all of these down. 
Now you're just securing plastic to plastic. So once that screw bottoms out, you want to go just that little bit extra. It's bottomed out a little bit more. You're going to continue that for all five. We'll go ahead and bring our bumper up to the vehicle. What we want to do is try and line up the bottom edge of our bumper here underneath our light assembly. We'll try and bring this into place. Now the bumper itself will lock into tabs underneath your headlamp assembly. Line that up and then our bumper itself will line up on the edge here with the fender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in our bumper side here and then this will line up I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process for the passenger side we have our brackets here for our upper portion of the grill install the bolt here on the driver side once that started a few threads go ahead and repeat for the passenger side now I'm going to tighten this down using our hand ratchet because we're going to be anchoring plastic to metal. We don't want to over tighten this and crack the plastic. Once that bolt bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. Go ahead and install your inner well liner to the inside of the bumper. Now you want to get this underneath here and it can be a little bit hard so you can go ahead and pop the side of the bumper out just a little bit. Go ahead and get that underneath. Secure that. Now we can go ahead and get our screws started. Snug those in. Now that the driver's side is complete here, go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. And install your plastic push pins in all of our holes here for retainers. Put that button in. Basically, we want to continue around the perimeter installing all of our plastic push pins. Do this until they're all installed. Any of the spots that you have a bolt, simply go ahead and snug those down. Now you want to make sure that your radiator cover here, the little tab is underneath the chrome part of the grill. And install all of your plastic push pins. Install your air intake tube. Work that into the rubber ring here. Go ahead and line this up. And we're going to install our plastic push pins, securing this in place. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.